more time from the top, Julie. There are some podcasts that inform. There are some podcasts that entertain. There are some podcasts that don't know what the hell they are doing. The Simplistic Reviews podcast is all three three idiots with a modicum of movie knowledge. Get together and whine about movies for your entertainment. Sometimes their belly aching manages to. Manages to. You know what? Let's be honest. Advertising for this show is a bigger act in futility than voting for the Green Party. And if I offended you Green Party members out there, I apologize. To all six of you. But seriously, who are we advertising for? Who's gonna hear this? We're unknown. And yes our obscurity might be a reflection on our talent, but if you've listened this long to our show, you might be the one with the more serious issues. Hey Al, could you come in here for a second? In fact, if you've listened to our show at all, it's entirely possible that you are in need of some kind of counseling or mental brain study. This is the show that figures out a way to insert a cock joke and a discussion of Schindler's List. We tackle complex issues like studio whitewashing, while doing a Bane impersonation. This is the abyss. And trust me when I say if you stare into us, we will invariably stare back and swallow your soul. Speaking of the abyss, that's a really good movie. Ed Harris, Mary Elizabeth Master Antonio, James Cameron before he decided to make movies about blue monkeys until he dies. I mean, what's up with that Cameron? You got the Terminator franchise taking on water like the fucking Titanic. Yet you've made it your mission in life to make more Avatar movies than resentful ex-wives. Speaking of ex-wives, Hey Catherine Bigallo. You coming out with a movie soon or what? Zero Dark Thirty was nearly five years ago. Could you get off your ass and make another film please? I take Strange Days 2 at this point. You ever see Strange Days? Ray Fiennes. As an American. With hair. The Ray Fiennes is a bad motherfucker. Grand Budapest Hotel. Brother was robbed. Technically. He's not a brother. He's a dandy English gentleman with a screw-up for a brother. But even the brothers would consider him a brother after playing Mallory in Skyfall. They're still in there fucking around with Al Pacino. They should be paying attention to me. I'm the one trying to promote his nutbag show. If this show was a person, it would have been Baker acted years ago. What's Baker acted you ask? It's when someone who is acting insane is placed into custody temporarily. Although, I'm sure that the show, again if it were a person, would have that temporarily part removed, along with its belt and shoelaces. Fuck it. I think I'm just going to hit this ball right here since no one seems to be paying attention to a word that I'm saying. Hold up a second. That is some strong shit.